All right, let me check my bank account real quick, see these spendings. We've spent so much and gained so little. There's no way we could possibly spend more money on this trip. The final day of tour is fine. It's a fine old day. It's been a lot of driving, so you know, it's gonna be nice to get out of a car for a little bit. Uh, it's gonna be nice to be able to sleep in my own bed, but I'm gonna be sad that it's over because it was a fun time. Sad to not be around the same doofuses. I tried to do a teardrop and I picked my nose by accident. Philadelphia, PA, the city of brotherly love, checking out some of the baddest joints in town. Right here we got Pat's and right across the sky, street we got Gino's, showing up some of the most dynamite cheesesteaks you could ask for. We're going to check both of them out, come back, rank them, post it online at our social media. You can follow us on at themildanimals.com. Tell us which cheesesteak you like better. You're not going to taste it, but tell us which one you think we like better. I have never hated myself half as much as here and now. Gino's has the better presentation, personally, my preference. It's nice, clean aesthetic. I like the colors, I like the pictures, I like the location. This is my first cheesesteak ever. I don't, I don't believe you. I believe me. I like the Gino's one better. It's got a got that good bread you can see in the the nice roastiness in there. It's nice, some smoked bread. It's very wet. That's one thing you gotta know about Gino's. Both flavors are pretty similar. This one's messier, so that kind of sucks. Um, I don't know. I need to think about it more. It was a quality cheesesteak. Which one? This puts the M Night and the Shyamalan from Gino's. You just get the nice taste of onion, the bread, nice and juicy, just captures all that moisture. A nice, crisp, and juicy steak. Just top notch. Better than Pat's? I mean, we're gonna have to let the fans decide on that one. Gino's. 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 Pat's dude. Nick says Pat's, because he makes a moron. City I've ever been to. It's got this kind of like upbeat, almost chaotic energy that uh, I don't know, it works though. I, I agree. Philly was really cool. I took some time by myself and really enjoyed it because it gave me an opportunity to talk to new people. And the vibe I got here is that most people, like whether they're in a shop or on the street, are willing to stop and talk or to say hey. So it's pretty nice. How much money? Don't tell me. This 
night will go on If I bite my tongue That's the end of the tour. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time at Cornchella or not. Listen to Bay. I'll connect to that. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. The Clank. official, Clank. The official dilly dilly. band of Bud Light. Officially. Clink. Clink. Look at that. Clink. Oh my god, look at that. I don't even have to hold it here. Get a straw. Oh, you want to sip?